Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 6 of our Christina Let's Play series, where last episode we went to war with France and Brittany. We got a little bit more clay from them. And we also declared war in Morocco. I was also looking for a very specific tab inside the ledger. The Strategic Goods tab. So it's really easy, just trade and strategic goods. This is the one I was looking for to see if we were close to getting any strategic bonuses. The answer to that is no. The closest one we're closest to is wine for national unrest minus one. We currently have 5%, which is kind of weird that it's listed as Aragon as leader. When you scroll over here, it says Venice. Um, this ledger appears to be pretty buggy. For example, it says we have 3.3 here. If you scroll over here, it says we have 4.3%. There's some funky math going on here, but other than that, it doesn't make too big of a difference. Let's go ahead and jump into our war with uh, Morocco. Ooh. A little bit of quick scroll there. You guys are still stuck. It will just have the navy come come and help you out. You guys are done exploring uh, the northern Atlantic. Honestly, probably don't need those troops though, since uh, Morocco is incredibly weak now. Yeah, we have a tactic advantage. We have a morale advantage. Yeah. Just steamroll. Because they're not too scary anymore. Lose stab or government reform progress? We will lose the government reform progress. Oop. Little bit of a uh, lag in the game. There we go. Your cap cost, combat bonus, terrain capital we already have. Don't have any current subjects, but I guess we can go ahead and pick that up. Not too big of a deal. Oh, good. And we have access through France now. Just sent the army on home. Well, in this war. I know the Mamluks did not join. Already got the ticking war goal. That was very quick. You guys, come on down and just start looting. Gold is this. Ah, uh, we don't want to give them land. We'll take the stab, actually. That's very nice. Thank you. It's all the way up to stab two already. Exploration. Let's go ahead and explore the North Atlantic or the American East Coast. I forget what it's called. Naples, we're a little disappointed in you for the fact that you let your pretender rebels win, so you're no longer the same dynasty as us. So, because there are no longer any any other countries with our dynasty. Now would be the time that we go ahead and get a royal marriage with Austria, because there is an event to get a Hasburg on our throne as an heir if we don't have an heir. We have an heir currently, but it would be for later on, plus Austria is a pretty strong ally, so that way we can potentially try and get them under a PU later on. Through brute force or diplomatic means. Let's see. Lose 10 loyalty? I guess totally lose that. No, oh, we'll just take 5 prestige, not a big deal. One base tech, sure. The glory road. And the Ottomans are just kind of just insulting us and continue to disrupt our trade. Even though we don't particularly care. Looks like our colony is trading in cotton. Very nice. France, I think we can get one more. Oh no, we have a lot more land. We can take clay. Ugh, words. Oh, that's right, we can get claims through our vassal. So that is a thing we can do from now on. Okay, we're just slowly feeding him and taking other land off of France, though. Just direct land should be okay. There goes the Siege of Fez. Let's see, this fort. No artillery. Aragon is not coming to join. Sure. Gascony will come and assist you. Portugal's doing a great job over here. They're definitely getting fed all the coastline, though. Very close to the military point cap. Could honestly hire a couple more leaders. We already have one over though. We do have a triple three one or a six three two. Yergon had some rebels, not too concerning. Or we can continue to invest our military points. I think investing is a little bit smart, especially when we have some devastation here in the coastline, which did not was not aware of. No devastation in Sevilla, that's very important for us. Sure, make everyone happy. Truce with France is up. We'll definitely be turning around once this war is over and go north. 
because we're very close to our military or our, our manpower cap. Hostile movement speed minus 50%. Sure. Not a problem. Now we're just kind of waiting on these sieges to go and carpet siege the rest of Morocco. And they'll kind of just be uh, knocked out for the most part. This is extra colonists. That's very nice. We do want that. And just the institution spread rate is very nice. Let's go ahead and pull up the trade map mode once again. Alrighty. So we're colonizing here. Plus five. Plus five. No level two centers of trade. This is part of the Caribbean right here. I would imagine that was Colombia. But, alright, oh, I won't, uh, won't fight that. I'm going to send the colonist here. Expel some minorities. Sure. Increased trade efficiency is fantastic, especially for Spain. Or, well, Castile now. Future Spain. Just because... Most, a lot of our income is coming from this Sevilla itself. Only 0.42 ducats is actually leaving out of the 13.3 ducats. And we, we're getting 8.77 of those ducats. Sure. Take those admin points, it's very nice. Nice and luxurious. Go ahead and explore, let's go for the West Africa. Because we haven't actually made it very far down, down in that general direction. Man, the Ottomans do not like us. They are insulting us and just being, being a general nuisance. Corruption is going down pretty quick. Let's go ahead and take Diplotech. Our boats are technically out of date now. So we may want to go ahead and look at upgrading them. Scotland has a civil war. Yep, yeah, you're, you're going to lose Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Took one look at that and went, yeah, you guys are done. Let's go ahead and begin the carpet sieging of Morocco. Oh, there's the Age of Reformation. Nice. We will not be converting. Uh, we're going to stay Catholic. Just because historically that's what Castile did. And, well, we're all the way over here, and the Protestants are over here. So, we're just not going to deal with it. Can convert. Shh. It's going to take forever, but sure. By all means, attempt. There is another siege. And it'll just be a couple sieges. You can carpet siege. If you're behind an army already. Exploration. Let's go ahead and explore the West African Sea. Just the coastline is fine. Walk over to Seuss, and then you guys can meander on and take the latter, or the last two provinces, rather. All this will go to Portugal. Sure. Loose unrest. Or off uh, curiosity. Oh, Brady. And then Portugal, you're getting fed, because I don't actually want to acquire any of this land, because it's expensive. Yeah, this is much light, much nicer to uh, give land over because than the Austrian campaign there at the end. Instead of having a list of uh, you know, 50 to 60 countries, you just have the three. Much nicer. Otherwise, uh, they need really need to like put a search filter in there. All of this goes to Portugal. I wish you luck, Portugal. Coalition, it's just Morocco, Tunis. Don't really care. Give me that money. And... You're going to be the core on my land. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. Alright, and now we go north again. France, we're coming. Naples, you still don't have an heir. It'd be great if you hadn't actually came back to our dynasty. I think we're actually going to break this alliance here. Keep the royal marriage. Just so in case they do die, we do get it. Bordeaux needs to be owned by Castile. Uh, it's currently owned by our vassal. I don't think that's going to happen unless we take it from them. Annex Gascony. <laughs> that's not happening. 
colonize or have a colony subject fully colonized in the province of Virginia area. I think we'll just go for the base tax. That'll be uh, a little bit easier. I want to keep my uh, colonists in the general area of the Caribbean. National unrest reduction. Yeah, I don't see why not. We can probably afford a level 2 advisor, though. Yeah, well, a level 2 military advisor will be good. Do have quite a bit of money. Still way over the force limit, or just a little bit. Yeah, you know, only like 10%. Not a big deal. Got some good places for production. Dang. 0.24. Was that? No, that wasn't taxation. That was production, yeah. And a marketplace. There we go. You guys, go on, meander on out there. And do your stuff. Have almost 100% uh, spy network on France, so our sieges are going to be sped up by almost 100%. I believe it's 100%. It's, it's a pretty big bonus. Or Madrid, go to Gascony. We already have a claim here, perfect. France, we're coming for you. Wave the white flag. I don't particularly care if they're upset with us. Not threatening. Oh, looks like Naples had an air. Yep, E0, with an average claim. And you broke your royal marriage with us. Wow, what a guy. Well, that means we have room for a... Well, we have an open relationship slot. Who doesn't have an heir? And George is 63 without an heir. I don't think we're going to marry you, though. Platinet, you're 50. You are an elector. This could be the beginning of uh, us... Uh, working on... Becoming emperor. So I will gladly take that. And then France, we're going to war with you. Just so you know. We're going to beat you up. Aragon, I don't think I can actually give you land reasonably. With the decision of forming diplomatically. Yeah, you can't have another province. We can't. We can only take nine more. So yeah, we can't actually integrate Gascony within reason. Can't take military tech. Uh, we definitely won't, though, because we're already seven years ahead of time. Institution's almost ready to be spawned. All right, Gascony, we're going for your co your claims. Barry or There's a fort here. This is not occupied by a fort, so we'll actually go there. There we go, because Barry's occupied by this fort. Or has his own control via that fort. Just go walk over to the ticking wargle. And we're gonna have some rebels over here in Brittany. So you guys are not gonna be that big of an issue. You guys go on north. There you go. Yeah, we're just gonna go blockade Brittany. And if we get rebels, they'll spawn right on top of the army of Britain. Or Brittany and France. Very nice. This is what I like to see. You know, the, the chances of rebels spawning is actually pretty low. It's only 2.4 years. Not very much unrest. Provence, you're part of the Empire. So that's going to be a little annoying. It was a very quick siege. Meander on over to Brittany. We'll get them out of the war. Oh, sorry, France. We just stack wiped one of your armies and didn't even know. Let's go. You guys are running back and forth, then we'll go over to Armour. Then we'll get Gas or not Gascony. Brittany fully occupied. Alright, someone took it. How many days do we have left for military tech? 33 days? That means we will not get the tick over in December for cost reduction of 10%. Sadly, we'll pay for it now. New cav, new cannons, all, the, all good stuff. You, you will lose the money, no problem. Not even questioned in that regard. 
Francis five heavies once more. These armies are not balanced whatsoever. Yeah, this will be a pretty easy war, honestly. Gascony is going to get sieged, but oh well. We're already working in some of the last forts inside of France already. They really only have one, two, three, four forts now. They are a uh, a shadow of what they used to be. Here's the... Ooh, you guys actually took that fort real quick. That's not super great. Go ahead and go back there. Go help the Portuguese real quick while we sink the uh, Brittany's army, or navy. Two extra trade ships is very nice. Let's go help the Aragonese. Uh, we just sank all their heavies. Darn. I don't think I actually want to take any land off you uh, here, Brittany. It's going to cost too much uh, aggressive expansion. Don't need any money. Just annoy your alliances with France. That's it. I don't even want your money because you're just going to cause me to have additional inflation. And I want a short truce with you. That way I can go to war with you whenever I want. Bremen, your army is in a precarious situation. Lose the military points. This is where I already have time. Alright. Not a big deal there. Oh, there's the fall of Paris already. Dang. France is having a bad day. Our spy was, uh... He was caught. That's okay, though. Scotland, you don't have an heir. It's just because your pretender rebels won. Pretty fond of us, actually. Yeah, I'm not super interested. Oh, you took the fort of Gascony. France, for not uh, putting out much of a fight this war, you're, you're sieging down a lot. This goes to Gascony. So does Barry. That was it. Yeah, Gascony got a claim on one of our R's. Taking this fort, these two, that province. Burgundy would join the coalition, don't particularly care. Take that one, you guys still say no. Switzerland and Savoy would join. England would join. Can't say I particularly care if England's in the war. I believe our navy rivals them, at least in some regard. Bremen, say goodbye to your army. Yeah, I'll take 50 Diplo points. Yeah, sounds very nice. France, you're basically dead at this point. Alright, that's not a super great event. Increase costs on admin and Diplotex? No, thank you. I'm trying to get back your capital there, Paris. I see that. Call it back from Naples. There we go, got our fort back, want the siege. There we go. Alright, who took Barry back? Guys, who... <laughs> I look away for one minute. England is now a great power. Well, congratulations, England. Gascony, that is all yours. There we go. Gascony. Continue to push France further and further out. Coalition does not matter to us. 115 ducats? Sure. I would say this is a extremely weak France at this point. Gasking, we're definitely looking to integrate you. Where you at? Take an alliance with you. So that would be one person voting for us. You know, it's a big increase from last time, you know, zero to one. You know, well, zero to 14% of all the electors. 
We don't share a trade node, what are you talking about? So we'll give you uh, military, military access, by all means. Oh, England joined the coalition, Switzerland joined. Okay. I'm gonna go back to protecting trade in Sevilla. Provence joined the coalition, sure. Austria would definitely take an alliance with us at this point, but I'd rather try and secure the electorate. It'd break our alliance, but you would become a Hasburg. So maybe we can get you a roundabout way that way. Let's go for the prestige. Definitely don't need it, but... Gascony is semi-disloyal. Tunis joined the coalition, sure. Oh, and we've got six more years. I'm potentially getting Portugal into the M, or into, or integrating Portugal. And we've got one more year on Aragon for potentially for free, even though we get it for just clicking a button here. So we need Adam Tech 10 and 100% legitimacy, or 100 legitimacy. We're slowly ticking towards there, so. Use 137 ducats. Our army reformer has perished. Just go for a level 2 discipline guy. That'd be nice. 152. Could probably roll better, but there's also a chance of rolling worse, so. I'm okay with slightly up below average. Not a big deal. Let's see, we want to claim here. They have a claim there. Provence. I don't think you should really be that angry with me. England, yeah, we're rival, that makes sense. Extra difficult points is very nice, honestly. Take the 50 admin points. We're getting lots of free admin points. Free points. Oh, well. Decline of the nobility, sure. It's probably time to steal from the estates, I would bet. It's been a little while. It is. We'll go ahead and take that. They've been very loyal though. Base tax of six. Just need two admin clicks there. We'll go ahead and wait on that. Goodbye admin points. Muscovy is 23 without an heir. Scotland's 23 without an heir. Okay. Blotnet, what happens if you die? Where are you, Blotnet? You've been beat up pretty bad. You don't have, Bavaria took a lot of your land, so you're just an OPM, actually. If you die, we take uh, your throne. Perfect. Additional admin points. Religious civil disorder. Those are Protestant rebels, though. Fortunately, the Reformation's all the way over there. Don't have to worry about it too much. Let's see, Naples. You have lots of claims on you. Would have preferred to have you uh, peacefully, though, join. Monthly war exhaustion reduction. These are admin points, though. I think we're ready for admin tech, though. We can hold off on uh, Diplotech. Give me the prestige. Which will help a little bit with legitimacy. We're still letting that tick up. I was like, why did they cross our border just to go next door? They did this. <laughs> lose stab. Lose the money. Lose the 55 ducats. Lose 278 ducats. And we'll just take the loan. Wait, what? Personal union with Poland? What happened? I was just looking at them. Heirs of Von Hansburg. Okay, so Poland got a Hasburg on the throne. And that's how they were able to take, to take Austria's throne. Gotcha. Man, that was... 
they force that? No, they don't have a truce with them. I guess it happened diplomatically. Wow. I was not expecting that. We're going to have a very strong pull in this game. And a very weak empire at that. Alright, now we need uh, more people to vote for us, though. We could sway everyone, for the most part. Going back from France. This is middle third power. It's okay. Burgundy. You don't like us. You're in the coalition. How old are you? 57. You really don't like us. That's okay. Religious turmoil? He only took on the debt of Provence. How big was our loan? Oh, we took two loans. Ugh. That's not good. I don't like taking loans. Colony is now trading in cocoa. I think that was cocoa or well, no, it was coffee. Pretty good trade good. Reformation branches branches out. Yeah. We don't have any religious ideas, so we can uh, go ahead and convert if we become the emperor, but... Oh well. Right now, it is still going to be Burgundy. We do need uh, Brandenburg to vote for us. Once they're voting for us, though, we'll, we'll, we'll pretty much be a shoe win Which is very nice. France, are you at war with England? Provence and England. And Poland, Lithuania. Wow. Uh, France is dead. <laughs> Naples, you're allied to Montfront and Florence. It's not a very uh, very strong alliance. What happens if you die? Well, obviously you get your heir, but... Okay, let's try and keep... Uh, Naples around for a little bit, get them under a PU. Definitely want to become a Hasburg now, though. Do the same dynasty. Go back to Polish, actually. Okay. They're supporting their own heir. So that's one of the nice things as Poland. You can actually get anyone's throne by having them support their your, their heir inside of your country, and then you can force them under a PU pretty quick. So we might play a Polish game where we try and do that. And obviously play with, you know, their Danzig events, Moldavia events, um, fighting Muscovy with Lithuania, and obviously getting fighting the Livonian orders. This is Diplo points. Getting close to the Diplo point cap. Need 580 ducats. Could take another loan. Not quite enough though. 270. Yeah, we'll only be at 500. We'll be 100 ducats short. Give me those 30 points. Okay, and that just goes to the cap. It actually won't go above that. Take admin tech. And take diplo tech. Not a big deal. Institution embracement cost plus 10%. I think we can go ahead and wait till we embrace this institution. Let me click that button. Because after that, we don't particularly care. That is a dead, dead France. 100%. Church of England? Being in a base. Very nice. You guys did the Church of England. Is your Church of England still, uh, still Catholic, though? There's our colony. We've expelled some minorities. Went back from Maine. This is Hey, our general got additional uh, siege abilities. Very nice. Now we're going here. Sure, expel this minority. It's free. Caribbean colony, prestige, and settler chance plus 20%. Sure. Cool. Lose the military power. We're still way ahead of time on that. Global settler increase plus 15. King Philippe is doing a wonderful job. Almost at a hundred legitimacy. Now let's just take the prestige. England left the coalition. Wonderful. 
How's the election going? Currently have two voting for us. Uh, Mains, you're not quite there yet. Let's go and work on Cologne then. We can turn him, and we'll be golden. And we're not really going to worry about religion very much this game, like we did with the Austrian game. Um, it's not really the main point of the campaign, so... Because Bologna is going to be, be a pain in the butt. Clevs, you're only a one province miner. Actually, all these guys are one province miners, so we could actually pretty easily get rid of the Reformation, but... We're not the Emperor. And we don't have religious ideas, so we can't just, like, force conversions willy-nilly. Let me go ahead and try to become the people controller. Might assist us. There's got lots of Imperial authority right now. 13 heretics and 20 provinces outside. That's pretty much just Austria at this point, though. Uh, you're going back to Burgundy. Why are you doing that, bud? That will improve with Platinum. Keep them nice and loyal. 57 without an heir. Switzerland, yeah, the coalition just dissolved. Perfect. Mainly because there is a dead France walking outside. A little sad. I just invested, but okay. No biggie. Well, that's all the time I have for today, so if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.